Hi there, and welcome to CADLink for Visibility. Today we'll be covering how you can integrate your engineering CAD, PDM, or PLM system with your ERP and the benefits of doing so. So let's begin. CADLink is the visibility certified partner for CAD to ERP integration. It is a bi-directional tool used to create, compare, and modify bills of materials and item data at the click of a button. You can eliminate clerical work and increase utilization of your skilled engineers. Synchronizing your bill of materials and items with your CAD data will reduce errors and inaccuracies. Doing so will ultimately prevent unnecessary costs from scrap parts, shop floor confusions, inventory errors, and purchasing inaccuracies. So here we have a multi-level assembly open in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's just say you're an engineer who has just finished designing this model and you're ready to enter the bond into visibility. You can launch CADLink directly from the SOLIDWORKS interface through this add-in. And now CADLink will compare all of the components and properties like item number, description, quantity, with the corresponding items and bombs in visibility. Now we can see the results showing in this color-coded bomb grid. As you can see, CADLINK has maintained the multi-level bill of material structure of the CAD assembly, and it displays the differences between that CAD assembly and what it's found in the visibility data. All of these differences are color-coded and displayed on this one single interface. So let's talk about the colors you see here. Green represents parts that CADLINK cannot find in your visibility item master. CADLINK ran the comparison using the part number and could not find this item within your part master, meaning that these are new parts created by your engineers. These parts, these part numbers need to be created in visibility and included in the bill of material in both your CAD and ERP systems. CADLINK does this automatically when you hit save. White rows represent components from your model that are already existing in your visibility item master. Yellow fields indicate a discrepancy found between CAD and visibility for that particular field. By right-clicking on it, you can see both the values that CADLINK has found from your CAD model data and from visibility. You can select which one you would like to use or you can also choose to type in a brand new description. CADLINK is bi-directional for most CAD systems, so this new value can be saved back to your CAD model as well as into visibility. Now, other yellow fields like the quantity field are not able to be changed via the CADLINK interface. If you want to change the quantity of a part, you will have to go back into your model and make the changes there. This is because CADLINK is CAD driven, so even though it displays the ERP quantity, you cannot select it. Gray rows represents parts that are going to be removed from the visibility bill of material because CADLINK wasn't able to find it in your CAD model anymore. Let's say this part was manually added to the visibility bill of material, and so your engineer looks at it and says, I do need to keep this in the bomb. All you have to do is right click on that gray row and select convert to manual part. Items can also be manually added to the bill of material, which show up as blue rows. You can search the visibility database directly to add items such as paint, glue, fasteners, and so on. Parts that are added into the bill of material as a manual part do not get removed from the bill of material despite not being found in your CAD model. Now, manual parts are one exception where you can manually change the quantity because CADLINK has no CAD data from which to draw this information. On the contrary, if you do end up needing to remove one of these manual parts, you can simply right click on the row and select the option to remove manual part. Now let's move on to these tabs on the side. 
Bomb Changes tab gives you a summary of all the changes that Catlink will be making when you hit save. It gives you a little bit more information on what those changes are as well as which parts those changes will be applied to in the bill of material. You do have the option to export the data from this Bomb Changes tab to Excel or PDF should you want to keep them for your records. Now moving on to the CAD Properties tab. This is also a read-only tab which allows your engineers to view the CAD properties without needing to leave the CADLINK interface. You can check field mappings and take a look at any of the data that would typically be in your CAD properties directly from the CADLINK interface. In this case, that includes the configuration-specific properties as well as your custom properties in SOLIDWORKS. You can see that CADLINK also displays that multi-level assembly structure in this tab as well, just so it makes it easier for your engineer to navigate to the correct part that they are looking for. Moving on to the CADLINK Messages tab. This tab displays all of the issues that CADLINK has found. This represents all of the results of that data validation that CADLINK runs between your CAD model, the data that it finds, and what visibility requires in order to create or update the parts and bills of materials for this assembly. As you can see, the Save button is disabled if you do have messages in this tab. Therefore, CADLINK will not allow you to save until all of these messages have been cleared. Now, CADLINK makes this simple for you by allowing you to double click on the message and bringing you directly to the location of that error. In this case, our materials currently don't have quantity values. If your materials don't have quantity values, CADLINK can't add them to the bill of material properly. So let's just quickly fix all of these issues. And when we go back to the Messages tab, you can see that a lot of the errors that we had previously are now gone. Once all of the issues from your Messages tab have been cleared, the Save button gets re-enabled again. This gives you two options to save just to the Part Master, or to save the Bill of Materials and all the parts to your Visibility Database. CADLINK is a powerful tool built by engineers for engineers to replace manual data entry with the click of a button. You get time back in your day for more interesting and valuable work like new designs and projects. Not to mention how much you'll help downstream users who rely on getting clean, accurate build materials as soon as possible to do their jobs. CADLINK is a no-brainer for manufacturers using CAD and visibility. Thanks for watching.